must see landmarks in Lhasa. Lhasa, the capital and spiritual center of Tibet, sits at an altitude of 3,650 meters and has a history of over 13 centuries. Lhasa literally the place of the gods remains largely a city of wonders. The unique geography of Tibet attracts a lot of visitors to come and explore its tranquility. Lhasa is the best choice to stay before a visitor starts to discover areas with a higher altitude in Tibet. Lhasa houses several must-see landmarks that offer a glimpse into its rich past. Here I have depicted some of the must-see landmarks in Lhasa. Please hit the bell icon and subscribe this channel. First, the Potala Palace is one of the most iconic landmarks in Lhasa, Tibet, and is widely regarded as a masterpiece of Tibetan architecture. It is a massive fortress-like structure that sits atop Marpuri Hill, overlooking the city. The palace is an important cultural and religious symbol for Tibetans and is the heart of Tibetan Buddhism. The Potala Palace was originally built in the 7th century by Tibetan King Songtsen Gampo, who is credited with introducing Buddhism to Tibet. However, the current palace was largely built in the 17th century by the 5th Dalai Lama, who wanted to create a grander and more imposing structure to house the Dalai Lama and his government. The palace consists of two main parts, the White Palace, which was used for administrative purposes, and the Red Palace, which was used for religious purposes. The Red Palace is the most famous part of the palace and contains several chapels and shrines, as well as the tombs of several past Dalai Lamas. The palace is known for its intricate carvings, colorful frescoes, and intricate murals, which are a testament to the artistic skills of the Tibetan people. It is also home to a vast collection of priceless Buddhist artifacts, including statues, paintings, and manuscripts. Visitors to the palace can explore several areas, including the audience hall, the Dalai Lama's living quarters, and the meditation rooms. There are also several courtyards and gardens to explore, offering breathtaking views of the city and the surrounding mountains. The Potala Palace is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is regarded as one of the most important cultural and religious landmarks in Tibet. It attracts thousands of visitors every year who come to marvel at its beauty and learn about its rich history and significance. Another must-see landmark of Liz is Jokhang Temple. Jokhang Temple, also known as the Jokhang Monastery, is one of the most important religious sites in Tibet and is the spiritual heart of Lhasa. It is in the old town area of Lhasa and is surrounded by Barkor Street, a bustling market area that is popular with tourists and locals alike. The temple was built in the 7th century by Tibetan King Songtsen Gampo, who is credited with introducing Buddhism to Tibet. It is said that the king built the temple to house a sacred image of Buddha that his Nepalese wife, Princess Sprikuti, had brought with her as a dowry. The temple has undergone several renovations and expansions over the centuries, and today it is a stunning example of traditional Tibetan architecture. It is built around a central courtyard and features several chapels and shrines that are adorned with colorful frescoes, intricate carvings, and precious Buddhist artifacts. One of the most famous features of the temple is the Jiao O Shokimuni Buddha statue, which is believed to have been sculpted during the Buddha's lifetime. The statue is housed in a chapel in the temple and is one of the most sacred Buddhist relics in Tibet. Visitors to the temple can explore several areas, including the main prayer hall, the chapels dedicated to different Buddhist deities, and the rooftop terrace, which offers stunning views of the city. There are also several Bata lamp chapels where visitors can light candles and make offerings. Jokhang Temple is an important pilgrimage site for Tibetan Buddhists, and many devotees come from all over Tibet and other parts of the world to pay their respects and offer prayers. The temple is also a popular tourist attraction, and visitors from all walks of life come to marvel at its beauty and learn about its rich history and significance. Likewise, Barkor Street is a popular and historic street located in the center of Lhasa. The street is encircled by the Jokhang Temple, which is one of the holiest temples in Tibetan Buddhism. Barkor Street has been a hub of commercial and religious activity in Lhasa for over a thousand years. It is a famous pilgrimage site and an important commercial center in Tibet. 
The street is lined with shops and market stalls selling traditional Tibetan crafts and souvenirs, as well as local food and drink. Pilgrims from all over Tibet and other parts of the world come to Barkor Street to make a kora or circumambulation around the Jokhang Temple, which is believed to bring good luck and blessings. The street is always bustling with people, and visitors can experience the vibrant atmosphere of traditional Tibetan culture. Barkor Street is also home to several historic buildings and monuments, including the entrance gate to the Jokhang Temple, the Tibetan Traditional Medicine Hospital, and the former residence of the Dalai Lama. Overall, Barkor Street is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Lhasa, offering a unique blend of commerce, religion, and culture that is emblematic of Tibet. In the same way, Norbulinka Palace, also known as the Summer Palace, is a historic site located in the western suburbs of Lhasa. It is one of the most famous landmarks in Tibet and is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The palace was built in the 18th century by the 7th Dalai Lama and was used as the summer residence of the successive Dalai Lamas. The palace is surrounded by beautiful gardens, fountains, and pools. The palace complex consists of several buildings, including the Kelsang Patrang, the Tsokin Patrang, and the Golden Roofs. The Kelsang Patrang is the main building of Norbulinka Palace and was used as the Dalai Lama's residence. The Tsokin Patrang was used for religious and political ceremonies, and it has several thrones and altars. The Golden Roofs, also known as the Tukton Migyur Patrang, was built in the 1950s and served as the office of the 14th Dalai Lama. It has a beautiful golden roof and is decorated with murals, paintings, and other artworks. Norbulinka Palace is an important cultural and historical site in Tibet, and it is known for its unique architecture, beautiful gardens, and exquisite artworks. Visitors can explore the palace and its gardens, enjoy traditional Tibetan performances, and learn about the rich history and culture of Tibet. Overall, Norbulinka Palace is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Lhasa, offering a unique glimpse into the history and culture of Tibet. Like Jokhang Temple, Sera Monastery is a historic Tibetan Buddhist monastery located in the northern suburbs of Lhasa. It is one of the three main monasteries in Lhasa and is known for its distinctive architecture, rich history, and vibrant cultural traditions. The monastery was founded in the 15th century by a disciple of Tsongkhapa, the founder of the Jelug school of Tibetan Buddhism. Sera Monastery is surrounded by beautiful gardens and mountain views. Sera Monastery is famous for its daily debating sessions among the monks, which take place in a courtyard called the Sera J Debate Courtyard. The debates are a central part of Tibetan Buddhist education and focus on understanding Buddhist scriptures and philosophy. The monastery also houses several important buildings, including the Kokhn Hall, the Sera Choding, and the Zakang. The Kokhn Hall is the main hall of the monastery and houses a statue of Maitreya Buddha. The Sera Choding is a smaller hall that is used for prayer and meditation, and the Zakang is a complex of residential buildings for the monks. Sera Monastery is an important cultural and religious site in Tibet, and it attracts visitors from all over the world who come to witness the lively debates, admire the beautiful architecture, and learn about the rich history and culture of Tibet. Overall, Sera Monastery is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Lhasa, offering a unique opportunity to experience Tibetan Buddhism and culture firsthand. Similarly, Drepung Monastery is a historic Tibetan Buddhist monastery located on the outskirts of Lhasa. It is one of the three main monasteries in Lhasa and is known for its grand architecture, rich history, and cultural significance. The monastery was founded in 1416 by a disciple of Tsongkhapa, the founder of the Jelug school of Tibetan Buddhism. At its peak, it was one of the largest monasteries in the world and housed thousands of monks. Drepung Monastery too is surrounded by beautiful gardens and mountain views. The monastery complex consists of several important buildings, including the Gandan Palace, the Tsokkan Hall, and the Luzling College. The Gandan Palace is the main building of the monastery and was used as the residence of the Dalai Lamas until the 5th Dalai Lama moved to the Potala Palace in the 17th century. 
that Sukh Khan Hall is a large prayer hall that houses a statue of the Maitreya Buddha, and the Luzaling College is a complex of residential buildings for the monks. Drepung Monastery is an important cultural and religious site in Tibet, and it attracts visitors from all over the world who come to admire the beautiful architecture, learn about Tibetan Buddhism, and witness the traditional rituals and ceremonies. Overall, Drepung Monastery is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Lhasa, offering a unique opportunity to experience Tibetan culture and history. Unlike monastires and palaces, the Tibet Museum holds a significant space in promoting Tibetan culture and tradition. It is the first modern museum in Tibet and is dedicated to preserving and showcasing the rich history, culture, and traditions of Tibet. The museum was opened in 1999. It houses a collection of over 30,000 artifacts, including historical documents, cultural relics, traditional costumes, and handicrafts. The museum is divided into several exhibition halls, each focusing on a different aspect of Tibetan culture and history. The exhibitions include displays on Tibetan history, art, religion, medicine, architecture, and more. One of the highlights of the museum is the Thangka Hall, which houses a collection of over 100 Thangkas, traditional Tibetan religious paintings on cotton or silk. The paintings depict scenes from the life of Buddha, Tibetan deities, and other religious figures. Another important exhibit is the Tibetan Medicine and Astrology Hall, which showcases the traditional Tibetan medical practices and the Tibetan astrological system. The exhibit includes a variety of medicinal herbs, ancient medical tools, and a replica of a traditional Tibetan medicine shop. The museum also has a library, a gift shop, and a cafe. The library contains a vast collection of books, journals, and manuscripts on Tibetan history and culture, and is open to researchers and scholars. Overall, the Tibet Museum is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in Tibetan culture and history. It provides a fascinating insight into the rich and vibrant culture of Tibet and is a great resource for researchers and scholars. To be in brief, Lhasa is a city immersed in history and culture, and it is home to several must-see landmarks that offer a glimpse into its rich past. Whether it is Potala Palace or Jokhang Temple or Sera Monastery, they all maintain the charm of must-see landmarks in Lhasa. Thank you for watching.